Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Since I was a kid, I remember watching The Muppets and Sesame Street, and I just remember being absolutely captivated for a Christmas present. I was actually given a book on ventriloquism and a stuffed toy, and I cut the back out, and I took the stuffing out, and I made it into a hand puppet. So when all my friends were out chasing girls and I was in the mirror learning A, B, C, D. You know, and why anyone would want to do that, I don't know, but I decided that that was, you know, that was for me. I've now been doing this for about 25 years and I've come to America's Got Talent because if you can make it here, then you've really made it. You can have fun being a ventriloquist, right? This is what I like to do to confuse the sound man. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's not working. I've got so much more I want to show, and I've been given the opportunity now. This is my chance to make my childhood dream a reality. Good evening. How are you doing? Shh. Why? Not so loud. Baby sleeping. Oh, you brought. Oh, it's bringing. Oh, you brought. Really your... Sorry, I couldn't find a babysitter. <laughs> Fantastic last time. Thank you very much. Why are we whispering? <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> oh, sorry, be right with you. <laughs> hey! What? That mirror! What? That mirror's not working! Mirror? That's not a mirror! That, that's Howie! <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! No, no. So listen, you go to sleep now. I want story. What? Story. What? I want a story. Well, we haven't got time for the story. Story. No, no, we haven't got time. I want a story! Okay. Okay. All right, I'm really sorry. If I tell you a quick story, you promise me you go to sleep straight away. <laughs> this is the story. Of Little Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood? Yeah, shh. She was walking through the woods on the way to her granny's house when all of a sudden out jumped a big bad wolf. Wolf? Yes, a nasty <laughs> one with big horrible teeth. No, don't like it. No, but it's part of the story. Don't like that one. No, but it has to be. Don't like it. Okay. <laughs> change it. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll change it. What, what, what do you want me to change it to? Duck. <laughs> <laughs> The thing is with the story, it won't work as a story if it's a duck. I want a duck! OK. OK. It wasn't a big bad wolf. No. It was a big bad, um, duck. Big bad duck? <laughs> yeah. No. Fluffy yellow duck. Little Red Riding Hood was really frightened. Why? Well, because she wouldn't be frightened of a fluffy yellow duck, would she? No. Hence, you've done it again and my story doesn't work. You keep doing this to my story. It doesn't work. You keep making me put ducks in them. Duck! They don't work as stories when there are ducks in them. Duck! What about yesterday's? Goldilocks and the three ducks. Duck! Snow White and the seven ducks. Duck! Why do you keep saying duck? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good finish. Yeah. This is fun for the whole family. This is a big family show, and you're a big family act. How many other puppets have you got? I have, I have a couple more. There's more to me than, than what you've seen so far. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to see your puppets. No, I don't. Oh, gosh. Well, I just think that your material is really, really clever, and you do make us believe like they're real there are really two people on the stage. You're very, very good. You know, you're a cartoon come to life. I felt like I was watching a great cartoon. You and this baby and this dialogue is so fabulous. You're gonna be a main contender. I mean, I don't think there's anyone sitting in this room right now who doesn't believe that you're not gonna be in the top five. It was wonderfully orchestrated. The joke telling was great. You made a grown man feel like he was a kid, and I just felt myself just laughing, and I felt joy. And I want that feeling, and I want everybody to feel that feeling of joy. 
So I love comedy and I love you. So. Marlon on his choice because I feel like we've got a great guy in you. That's such a talent. What a gift you have. Paul, you are now going straight through to Radio City Music Hall. For once, so I'm speechless now, and um, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you all. Paul <laughs> <laughs> oh, so He just got real. I love that my guest judge pick a comedian. I'm, uh, come on, I love comedy. Yes. I know. I love it. You no. still speechless? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm totally speechless. That was just amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Who is going to win this year? I mean, seriously, we've got some great strongest comedy year ever. <laughs>